Hello and welcome back guys, this is the Brown Crush here and uh, I'm going to quickly show you Veeam Backup and uh, we are going to do a quick demo on how to do a backup using Veeam um, and then after that I will show you how we can change the default repository to a different one so let's wait for the application to load So I have got on my computer, this is a virtual machine which I'm using and I have the C drive and I have the backup drive and I have also got the V drive which is where I have installed the application. So in total I have three drives and this is where I have installed the application. And as you can see there is um, only 17 GB free. Um, so I can either expand this or I can choose a different drive to save all my data. Okay, so let's close, minimize this for now. So there you go, this is our Veeam Backup Community Edition which I have got running and I have a couple of backups here as you can see. Now to, I have a VM which is uh, WinJumbo2 which I'm not backing up. So let me do a quick backup for that one start and I'll call it when jump to just to keep the standards of naming jump to and next Let's add the VM quickly. Send the vCenter here. Send the data center and management. Should be down here. So it's 17 GB. So I have got 17 GB exactly, but the good thing is because this is going to be deduplicated and compressed, it is basically going to take very less than that. Click next. So this is a default repository. We can't change it, uh, but I have uh, created a, a new repo as you can see, Veeam backup repo. So I can select that one or this one. So in a minute, I'll show you how to do that after we are done with this. So click next and leave these settings as default and click next. I'm going to make sure I run this every day at 10. Just fine. Or what you can do is you can select weekdays or these days and then we can select okay I don't want it on Saturday and Sunday I just want it every Monday maybe okay we can do twice a week so we can say Monday and it's better if I go Sunday and Wednesday like that apply that and then finish so I will also select run this job when finished. So I should start running it. And we can see it running here. Okay, now the other thing we'll be doing now is I'll show you how to change the uh, backup repository so you can see here I have uh, I have already got the default one and when you inf install Veeam there is no way you can change this default repository you have to explicitly do it later on let's do a proper local one so network attached storage is the one I was trying you can have 
deduplicate storage appliance or object storage will go for direct attached storage and we can say windows because it's going to be a d drive maybe so just say um backup repo demo for showing you guys next the beam server should pick it up and then we just need to browse and select which drive we need as I said I have selected this one before and then we can select a particular one for demo maybe I'll call it demo but um, as I mentioned this is the one where which I'm using anyway backup but you can select uh, a new drive if you added it you can select a new drive from here but just for demo purpose I'm going to use that so next yes proceed and then this is basically saying that it will use this particular location for ssd uh, and this is for instant recovery instant uh, you know as it says blocks and for instant recovery vms when you do instant recovery it mounts uh, nfs automatically and uh, that's how you have the vm running immediately it mounts an mf um, NFS volume on your whichever drive which you are using here. So in this situation it's saying V drive um, and that will be mounted on V center uh, and it pretty much looks like like this. I'll just quickly show you. Let me minimize this. I'll show you once we are done with this setup. Click next. So it generates the entire details. So it has to have certain files in there, which it will do. So if we go in and look at the demo, should basically be using this one once it's detecting previous install components and that's pretty much it we have already so it has picked up these things already exist if it doesn't then it will see us but this is how you are pretty much very close to creating a new repo and when we deploy a new one you can select you want this repo or the old one or you completely delete the old one and start using a new repo so that's pretty much it starting infrastructure item update process goes through that so this is the location we are going to use So 
as it's saying that it will take some time um, but the new repo will be created and when you create a new backup next time you can use that new repo um, so this is not very obvious there is a kb article which is available from beam which explains how to do this Discovering installed packages, so it's going through now. Installed packages, as you can see. Okay, we logged into the vCenter, and if we go to storage you'll see a uh, veeam backup veeam 001 so this is a nfs share if you come and see here and this is basically presented from veeam and uh, if you are doing an instant recovery uh, and th this particular vm basically runs here and it's nothing more than the um, you know there you go all the steps has been done and now we can click next so it's nothing more than the D drive which you saw here, uh, which basically has the VM files and basically it gets this particular drive gets mounted there. As you can see, this is uh, 17 GB used and 149 GB in total. So it will be similar to that information. So if you see here, no, this is using another drive. So this is using my backup drive which I have, sorry, V drive which is having Veeam installation. So that's what it has mounted which is 100 GB and 3, 4 GB used. So if we go back here, so this is the drive it is using at the moment I think. So 3 to 4 GB is used um, and this is what it is using at the moment. Now backup repo is here and this is what it is created as you can see jump o2 uh, this is the new backup which i just did and it's landed here so this is how you create a new repo when we click finish you can see that it can have four up to four jobs and then you have like a couple of different repos here now and then you create a backup job you can select which repo you want for which job and that's one way how to isolate things or you can have everything if you don't want uh, you know multiple drives having backups small drives you can create a big drive and then dump everything on that one particular one so hope you enjoyed the demo uh, feel free to share this video to others don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my videos thanks a lot cheers bye